Hey, hey, everybody, how y'all doing today? Thinking about them. Ooh, I was gonna stay off, but there's a couple of things I need to bring to y'all before the holiday. Yes, indeed, Haunty. Yes, indeed. So, we're going to go back down memory lane. We're going to moonwalk a little bit. With everything that's going on and the possibility of some people being called in. You know what I mean? Fast, fast, fast. Y'all remember when, when Unk name came about, and I mentioned that one of the guys that got unalive, taken out at Privé with that shootout, y'all don't remember that the police MPD detective them said that it was a target targeted hit so something was going on in there when something something other than what we know was going on so we gotta not forget about that because unk, unk plays a major role in everything that's going on he's just Newly being brought to the table. Name got dropped. Kind of like it was when uh, Orange Mind Quick name just dropped. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we gotta, we can't forget the things that have been dropped because a lot of people are dropping dead. <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah. I kind of slipped once uh, TZ was taken out and I was saying that he was involved in a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff was going on. And I kind of mentioned the word trafficking. (gasps) It's a lot of uh, trafficking going on and and forced uh, selling of the body. How about that? You like that? In Memphis. So, because y'all remember when I said in my slippage <laughs> that Quit told on his pimp buddy, remember? T Rex. Y'all, bro. And remember, I said there's just no way that he could have been that involved. I knew as much as he was able to testify on that stand without being somewhat involved in the activity. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks. Whoo! So we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. Auntie Fee about them. We're going to talk about people taking the cookie, Auntie (laughs) Fee. Yeah. We're going to talk about somebody forcing another cookie. And the money. Yeah, that's, yeah. I ain't gonna say nobody look like they may have had some pimpish ways. But we gonna talk about that. And then we gonna talk about, we gonna remember. Because, you know, Gotti, you know, he got that poker face. And he be trying to act like he ain't involved in nothing. But we gonna have to remember the Dolph, I mean, not Dolph. Oh, yeah. Long live doll. Gotti had hired Art 
for straight drop, which is straight drop, didn't follow instructions and turn itself in when he was supposed to. Y'all remember that? Do y'all remember that? Because that was also back at the time when Gotti had posted that if straight drop got arrested, he got he was going to bond him out, bail him out. See, he want to separate himself now, but he, he was in that thing. Yeah, because so I, I just want to remind us his name, him and Big Juke's name is going to come up. He was down for the cause with Straight Drop in the beginning. Did y'all forget that? Huh? Huh? Yes, indeed, honey. So y'all go hit the like button for Auntie Fee. She going in today. We going to sip some tea. What you sipping on? What's your best tea? Y'all ready to go? You ready to go? In, in, in. Let's go in. Let's go in. <laughs> Auntie Fee. You be making them mad. Absolutely. Let's go in. Y'all ready? Where we gonna start? We gonna start after y'all hit the like button. I'll wait. Friends, friends, friends. Let's go. Okay, so I decided that before we go to Memphis, we're going to talk about Texas real quick. So here we got a married couple gets into a shootout with would-be robbers at a Texas gas station. She eight months pregnant. Yeah. They thought they was going to rob her. She called her husband out the store. Not store. The store. This is in Houston. <laughs> they thought that they was going to... Shout out to Say, uh, Say Cheese TV. I'm on IG. Look. <laughs> she she called him and let him know that they was going to rob her. He came out and they went to blazing. Shot that ass back. <laughs> Don't mess with Texas. Oh, he remains hospitalized. They put him in a hospital. She eight months pregnant. <laughs> so I brought you a little Texas. Let's go. And so let's start with uh, U.S. Marshal Tyrese Miller. Yeah, I remember him. He was the one that was responsible for hunting down Straight drop, Justin Johnson. When they got that anonymous tip that they was going to turn into the uh, truck stop in Indiana. Yeah, I remember that. So snitching, snitching started early in the game. We just don't forgot about it. Yeah, I remember. So, and, and y'all also remember when he did this, he talked about all the different states that he went to. <laughs> that's tied to the case. Y'all remember that? He said it was about 10. Yeah, so the community, he said the community environment, but somebody snitched. So this is where he says several, several people called in. This one. And I'm going to show you another one. This is another one where he talked about the multi-state. So this is the video where I talked about when, you know, you know, I like you, uh, Marshall Miller. But this is when I talked about you dropped the ball with Shondell Barnett when he got let go, when he went to a different jail in Indiana. See, 
This is when I started saying he was the one who turned in straight drive. Yeah, because y'all let him go. Yeah. That's fair. I'm, I'm trying to find the video, y'all, where he talked about Operation North Star. That's when they put it in motion in all them different states where straight drop them and uh, I guess Unk them and Govan them. They knew everybody, I guess, who's involved, plus some that they were looking for. I'm trying to find that one. But this is when I talked about him dropping the ball for Shondell. Who was supposed to go get Shondell? Yeah. Yeah. This is the thumbnail. Okay, so here we go. This is the first one I think I posted. Oh, let's see. 11 months ago. Special Operations, Fed State and Local, detained 122, a fugitive. This is the when he first started talking about Operation North Star. Okay. They started picking up folk, fugitives, and then when they would detain some of the people that they had warrants and stuff for that was possibly involved in Dolph case, they were questioned. He said this operation had been going on behind the scenes for a while. Okay. So this is the one where it breaks down the special operations. This was also 11 months ago. That's the title you can look for. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is the one where it showed that he went into Orange Mound. Into what? On TV? <laughs> uh, Orange Mound. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so they they not just getting hip to... Uh, oh yeah, baby. They Orange Mound. Yeah. Yeah. He he tried to hide it. He tried to hide it and hide. They were they put them dogs on him, baby. Yes, indeed. I told y'all. Y'all don't forgot. Y'all don't forgot. You bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? Ten different cities. Hundred and twenty two arrests. Guns drawn. This guy right here under the special operation, he had just taken down somebody in Orange Mound. He said they do a lot of research and a lot of surveillance. I said, say what now? He said a lot of research <laughs> and a lot of surveillance. Now, what was CEO TZ doing that day? Oh, okay. Research and a lot of surveillance. I was going in on this when somebody had, had done something, was crushing to be a son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll go back and watch this because this is when I was t talking about how the people get picked up and let out. I talked about it. I was talking about TZ. I've been, I've been talking about it. So this is when Memphis police, with the pre shooting, 
said that it was a targeted hit. Targeted. That's this one. Oh, this is under Auntie Fee. It's the same title. But this is this is him. And I come to him, Larry, because Larry is tied to Unc. So if if you if you know all of them, every last one of them by name and nickname, it was targeted. It's like the girl with the uh, tax offices. She, they was at pre-gay, and then they was attacked. It's just not a good place to go. And besides, oh, Kamisha said the food be raw, half cooked. That's what she said about a homeboy. He tied to aunt. Yeah, I remember them. They targeted those two guys. Man, man, and Larry Bailey at pre days. Terrell Alexander was the other guy name that was main main. Straight drop higher CMG lawyer art. We know who hired him for straight drop. But when he didn't turn himself in and he did that video, Art dropped him. He was supposed to appear in court. He had a court date the next day. And that's when Art started moonwalking back. <laughs> and said, oh, no, oh, 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 no. First he announced on the news that he was and then he just dropped him like a bad habit. Yeah. Gotti was on board at first. Yeah. Now he had like he don't even know him. Okay, so we gonna end on here about a lady who was brought from St. Louis to Memphis. I think she thought. Well, you know what? I don't know what she thinks she thought because I didn't watch it. I just want y'all to see what's going on. Let's see how, how it happened. Because it's going down real bad. Charges after police say they forced a woman into prostitution for months. WREG Shea Arthur is live tonight after learning more about this. A disturbing, harsh reality here. Unfortunately, this is just one of many cases affecting our community. And tonight, experts want everyone to be aware. A problem among us. Buyers are all over this community. Buyers. From... The poorest of our city to the richest of our city. Police comes after Memphis police arrested John Hammond and Taquita Hughes over the weekend. A woman telling officers she met the pair in St. Louis three months ago. They brought her to Memphis where she says they confiscated her belongings, forced her into sex trafficking, requiring her to make at least $1,000 a day. Taquita Hughes over the weekend. A woman telling officers she met the pair in St. Louis three months ago. They brought her to Memphis, where she says they confiscated her belongings, forced her into sex trafficking, requiring her to make at least a thousand dollars a day. Fine, befriending them, looking to exploit meet them where recruiting victims into sex trafficking, meet young people online, befriending them, looking to exploit vulnerabilities. Do they have a crisis response to more than ninety victims compared to more than one hundred seventy-eight people all of last year? Unfortunately, okay. We, you understand? You know, y'all remember T Rex and Quinn, Quet. I mean, I'm calling uh, Tequita. Uh huh. It's a lot of it going on. Okay, y'all. I gotta go. I got some messages popped up. Okay, y'all. This is on TV about them. Yeah. <laughs> I got something that's probably gonna come out before this one. I need to go on and hurry up and get it. Yeah, some some I've been asking for. I've been asking about here recently. And then all of a sudden it pops up. So until next time, peace. Hit the like button.